what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a mass question which says find the value of x for which 8 to the x minus 1 is equal to 18. well our first step will be for us to apply the law of indices which says when i have for example a to the m minus n this is the same as a to the m all over a to the n. So let's apply this law of indices here. That means this expression can be 8 to the x all over 8 to the 1. This is equal to 18. Well, 18 is same as 18 over 1. Very good. So this becomes 8 to the x all over. 8 to the 1 is same as 8. And this is equal to 18 all over 1. Now our next step will be for us to cross multiply. So 8 to the x times 1. We have 8 to the x. This is equal to now 8 times 18 this is 8 times 18 very good now our next step will be for us to take the log of both sides since the unknown is an exponent so we take the log of both sides so i'll take the log of the left log 8 to the x this is equal to i'll take the log of the right hand side so this is log 8 times 18 very good now our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm to what we have here which says when i have log of m times n this is the same as log m plus log n so we have log 8 to the x this is equal to writing this expression like this we have log 8 plus log 18 very good now we have to apply the law of logarithm which says when i have the log of a to the n this is the same as n log a so let's apply this here that means this expression can be written as x log 8 and this is equal to log 8 plus log 18 very good and since we're looking for x i'm going to be dividing both sides by log 8 so i'll divide the left hand side by log 8 i'll divide the right hand side by log 8 now notice that log 8 can cancel out log 8 leaving behind x to be equal to now on the right hand side i'm going to be splitting the fraction so this is log 8 so log 8 all over the denominator log 8 plus this is log 18 so log 18 all over the denominator log 8 very good now log 8 divided by log 8 we have 1 so this is x equal to 1 plus log 18 log 18 all over log 8 very good now x would then be equal to 1 plus log 18 is same as log 18 is 2 times 9 very good so all over log 8 so log 8 now applying this law of logarithm to what we have here we have x to be equal to 1 plus now on the numerator 
just like this we have log 2 plus log 9 all over the denominator log 8 very good now our next step will be for us to separate this fraction so we have x to be equal to 1 plus now separating the numerator this is log 2 all over log 8 plus this is log 9 so log 9 all over the denominator log 8 very good now this becomes x equal to 1 plus log 2 all over the denominator log 8 is same as 2 to the 3 plus log 9 is same as 3 squared all over the denominator this is log 8 is same as 2 to the 3 and applying the law of logarithm here here and here we have x to be equal to 1 plus the numerator we have log 2 all over then on the denominator we're going to have according to the law of index logarithm 3 log 2 very good plus according to the law of logarithm here we have 2 log 3 all over the denominator we have 3 log 2 very good now notice that there is an invisible one here and 2 log 2 can cancel out log 2 so that we have x to be equal to 1 plus here we have 1 over 3 plus here we're going to have 2 over 3 log 3 all over log 2 but know that from the law of logarithm when i have log m all over log n this is same as log m this n so we're going to be writing this in this format so x now becomes now from here let's simplify here a bit 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 that's 4 so we have 4 all over the denominator 3 plus this is 2 over 3 so 2 over 3 now this expression can be written like this to be log 3 base 2 and this is our final answer so now let's check so we check in to check well this is our answer which is value of x we've got so this is 8 to the x and x is 4 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 and then this is minus 1 so minus 1 with this be equal to 18 now on the left hand side just as the law of indices which says when i have a to the m plus n this is the same as a to the m times a to the n we're going to be applying this law of indices to what we have here so this expression like this can be written as 8 to the 4 over 3 times 8 to the 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 times 8 to the negative 1 so to the negative 1 with this be equal to 18 now 8 is same as 2 to the 3 and this is raised to the 4 over 3 so 4 over 3 
times 8 is same as 2 to the 3. And this is raised to the 2 over 3 log 3 base 2 times this is 8 to the negative 1. Very good. Now from the law of indices, when I have a to the m and this is raised to the n, this is equal to a to the m times n. That means the powers multiply. And since the powers multiply, that means 3 here can cancel out this 3, leaving behind 2 to the 4. So this is 2 to the 4th times. Now the same thing happens here. 3 here can cancel out this 3. So this is 2 to the 2 log 3 base 2. And then times 8 to the negative 1. Now I'm going to be applying the law of logarithm here, which says when I have, for example, n log a, this is the same as log a to the n. So let's apply this to what we have here. So 2 to the 4th, we already know it is 16 times, this is 2 to the, this expression now becomes log 3 to the power of 2 base 2 times, this is 8 to the negative 1. So this becomes 16 times 2 to the log of 3 squared is 9 and this is to the base of 2 times 8 to the negative 1. Now there is a law of logarithm which says when I have b to the log of a base b, as long as the base here and the base here are the same, the result will be a. So that means this expression is the base here and the base here is the same. So I'm going to be having 9. So this becomes 16 times 9. And then times 8 to the negative 1 is actually an inverse, which is it can be written as 1 all over 8. Very good. And now notice that 8 divided by 8 is 1. 16 divided by 8 is 2. And then 2 times 9 times 1 is equal to 18. So we actually got the right hand side. So our answer is very much correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.